Our God and Father, we come into your holy presence today, joyful and glad and happy we can be gathered here with Scott and with Shona as they seek to enter this great commitment of marriage together. We come into your presence knowing that you are the author of love and that every good and perfect gift comes from you. We pray for Scott and Shona today. Bless them, keep them, guide them and strengthen them. Especially be with them now as they take solemn vows in thy sight and in the presence of these witnesses today. And we really ask for your presence and blessing with us. In Jesus' name, amen. You don't have to spend long in Scott and Shona's company to realize how much their family and friends mean to them. They're tremendously family-oriented people and they're delighted that you're all here to be with them today. I would just like to thank you all for coming today to support me and my new beautiful wife on the celebration of our marriage. Family means a lot to both of us and all my family here today joined to celebrate us is all I could ask for, for both of us. gathered here today in the presence of God and before this congregation to unite this man and this woman in the honourable and holy estate of matrimony. But of course this is a celebration and a declaration of the love that Scott and Shona have for each other. And I just want to consider just for a few minutes, what is love? Scott and Shona. Love is patient, but love is kind. So whether you are in good times or bad times, difficult circumstances or fair, always be patient and kind with each other. Love is not envious, love is not selfish, love is not proud. The Bible tells us love does not rejoice in sin, it rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes for all things, and endures all things. And both of you know that if your love and when your love is rooted and grounded in Jesus, you will be able to live this out. And when you're constantly looking out for each other's good and welfare, finally, the Bible tells us that love never fails. In the presence of God, I call upon these persons here to witness that I, Shona Ann Hepburn, do take you, Scott Andrew Yeoman, to be my lawful wedded husband. On this special day, I give to you my pledge to stay by your side as your faithful husband. I promise to lead our home in the fear of God. I promise to submit to you as the head of our home. With your interest always before me. To grow with you in our mutual love of the Lord Jesus. To love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of distress. Honor and respect you. Encourage you to achieve higher goals provide for your needs as best I can. Always be open and honest with you. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. For as much as these two persons have taken each other according to the word of God, they are no more twain but one flesh. 
What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Scott, you may now kiss the bread. What can I say? How beautiful does my wife look? <laughs> I've totally lost my words when I seen you up at the aisle today. I honestly, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. To Scott and Shona. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.